Hi everybody, welcome back for another GED Math Practice Problem of the Day. And this one I'm going to show you how to add fractions. So the question here is 10 over 20 plus 3 over 30. And I want you to add it, so go ahead, pause the video, try it on your own if you'd like to. Okay, hopefully you had a chance to try this. So the first thing that we're going to do before we go any farther is do some simplifications here. So we can take a zero off of each of these terms here, and we can just rewrite that as half. And also, here we've got 3 over 30. We can divide each number by 3, and you'd be left with 1 over 10. So let me rewrite this over here. So we now have 1 over 2 plus 1 over 10. And you didn't have to necessarily simplify this before you started, but I think it's a lot easier to do so. So now what we want to do is we want to get a common denominator. And whenever you're adding fractions, you always need to get what's called a common denominator. The top number of a fraction is called your numerator, and the bottom number is called the denominator. And so what we're going to do here is if we multiply both the top and the bottom number by 5, and we rewrite this whole equation, which I'm going to draw an arrow to show that I'm rewriting, here's what we end up with. We've got 5 over 10 plus 1 over 10. And so now that we have a common denominator, we can add. So all we're going to do is we just add the numerator. 5 plus 1 is going to give us 6, and we just keep the denominator as 10. So a mistake would be to do 10 plus 10. You don't do that. You just keep it as the same number and add the numerator. So we've now got 6 over 10. And let's see if we can reduce that even farther. So what about if we divide a 2 out of each term? So what if we do 6 divided by 2? That's going to give us 3. And 10 divided by 2 is going to give us 5. And we see that we get our answer, which is 3 over 5. So the most important takeaway for adding fractions is just get that common denominator and you can look for one fraction and find something you can multiply the denominator by that's going to make the denominator match in both of the fractions. And so that's our answer. If you like this video and found it helpful, give me a thumbs up and also please subscribe. You won't miss any more GD Math Practice Problem of the Days that I do. Thanks guys for watching. I appreciate it.